All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone has a lovely Valentine's Day weekend to all you ladies out there. Happy Valentine's Day weekend. Wait, who the fuck am I kidding? It's nothing but a bunch of guys jerking off to how beautiful this fucking Blu ray is that I'm about to show. Ain't no girls watching this channel. Right, guys welcome back to the channel uh yeah valentine's day weekend upon us if you are a female watching this channel leave a comment below that just says red rose and nothing else uh i know most of my viewers are guys but hey that's cool that's to be expected for this format for this um kind of videos and everything so yeah uh i don't really have much else i know there's the Screen Factory has announced all the features for Event Horizon, which um, I, I'm not running on my computer right now, so I'm not going to show you guys the features. But uh, there is a ton of new interviews and things like that. They did not find the lost footage, unfortunately. Uh, but it looks like it's going to be pretty stacked full of bonus content. That's like the big news right now. And of course, as of this time of the recording the vinegar syndrome valentine's day sale is tonight at midnight so make sure y'all stock up on that porn and hand lotion so anyways uh drop down that description box if you would too at the end of this video or now whenever you want to do it check out all the other links follow me on instagram uh follow me on twitter guys i'm actually trying to get my twitter account up it is very very low uh, so if you guys would hit that Twitter link as well and follow me on there. It's pretty much the same stuff I post on Instagram, but uh, it helps to get uh, stuff for review and things like that if you have more followers on those uh, platforms. So, yeah, that'd be really cool. Uh, join the Patreon if you're feeling uh, frisky and uh, get discounts on the merch and extra entries into contests, things like that. And check out the merch store, too, I guess. Um, and uh, Amazon wishlist on there if you guys are... Wanting to do anything like that, and uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I don't know. I don't know what's down in that box. I haven't updated it in a while. So, anyways, uh, before I get into all these packages, I did pick a couple movies up from Walmart. Now, this first one, uh, I've heard kind of mixed things about, <clears throat> but that is The Call with uh, Tobin Bell and Lynn Shea. I do like both those actors. And uh, whoever Chester Rushing is, I'm not really sure who that is. But, uh, you know, it was like 12 bucks at Walmart, so I figured I'd take a chance on it. Still had the slip with it, and there's only a couple left with the slip. So I was like, yeah, if I'm going to get it and I want that, I better get it now. Uh, it, it, it does say an eerie uh, throwback to 80s horror, which I do hear it is very reminis reminiscent of that time frame. Uh, so, you know, I guess that's a plus. So, we'll check it out. We'll see. I'll try to get it watched for the my next uh, movies I watched in, what is this month? February. Uh, I'll try to get it in then. I still got to watch Dark and the Wicked and some other shit, too. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, The Call. And, of course, I had to grab Freaky with Vince Vaughn. I was hoping to get this in for review, but they're just not sending me anything here lately. Uh, I'm putting all the stuff out there for them. You know, posting on Instagram and all that stuff, and I'm not getting any request forms sent to me. So, I don't know what's up with that, but uh, it's cool. I guess I need more subs and all that shit, but we'll get there, guys. We'll, we'll get there. Just, just spread the word of how awesome this channel is. Just lie and say it's great. All right. And uh, I've heard nothing but great things about this, so I will be watching this tonight uh, to keep me awake between finishing this video and the Vinegar Syndrome cell. And, uh,. I, I hope I enjoy it. I hope the hype doesn't let me down. Um, we'll see. Uh, always like Vince Vaughn. And, uh, yeah. Cool. Freaky. And I like this cover, too. It's all embossed. Like, where it says freaky is embossed. The character outline you can feel. You can feel, like, the chainsaw. All that stuff. So, really cool slip on it, too. Alright. We're going to start with... Uh, let's start with the one thing that's not a movie. Uh, I do have another package here from cavity colors uh i did the only shirt i own from them now is the one i'm wearing uh my return of the living dead 3 shirt which i love but it does fit a little bit tight so i got a size bigger this is an extra large 
So I got a 2X this time. Um, so we'll see how well it fits and everything. And uh, yeah, so let's let's throw this on and see. Uh, well, no, let's open it first and then we'll throw it on so I can show you guys uh, what it is first. All right, this is one of my favorite movies. Um, I don't buy a lot of shirts from online places simply for the fact that I have a lot of horror shirts already. And obviously I do my own now too. And um, I, I don't know, they're really expensive. They're like 35 bucks after shipping and everything for one shirt, unless they're on sale if you order from Cavity Colors or Fright Rags or <clears throat> those kinds of places. Let's see what bookmark we have. Let's start with that. We have an Elvira bookmark. Very cool. And that's what I like about theirs too. I know uh, Fright Rags, you get the airheads and stuff, but and I think a trading card, uh, but you get the bookmarks, which I think are a little bit better than what Fright Rags gives you, even though I do like some of the Fright Rags shirts better. Um, I don't own any to really compare, but um, I think they're actually a little higher quality. I'm, I, I, fuck, I don't know. Maybe I could be wrong. Anyways, an Elvira bookmark. Cool, cool. Again, one of my favorite movies, and I did not have a shirt from this movie, so. Uh, what do we got in here? Uh, packing list. All right, cool. This is from American Psycho. Beautiful shirt. Love it. Got the business card. Got the axe going. Uh, it's really, really nice. Got him do it down there exercising. Got the CD. You know, of course, it's got to be Huey Lewis in the news, right? What was it? Sports? <laughs> uh, awesome, awesome shirt. I had to have this one. Actually, I'm not going to even throw it on. But I'll let you guys know how, how well it fits. Like I said, the, the XL is a little bit tight fitting uh, for my fat ass. So um, I went with the two this time. And hopefully it works out. But yeah, nothing on the back. Christian Bell is Patrick Bateman. Super excited for this. Uh, I thought the colors were going to pop a little bit more than they do, to be honest. Uh, of course, I'm in some kind of bad lighting. It's, it still looks fantastic. Um, I just thought they'd be a, lot, a little more vibrant. But, uh, yeah. Nonetheless, I'm very happy to have this shirt. Uh, very, very awesome. Thank you, uh, Cavity Colors. You guys, you guys rock, as always. Well, I, I mean, it's not my second order, but... Uh, all right. Where do we want to go next? Let's go with this little package right here. Now, one I think one of these is non horror in here. Um, first time ordering off this guy. He sells a lot of movies on Facebook. I'm not going to say his name because I don't know if he wants me to. But um, he sells them without the digitals and stuff. Uh, after they've been out for a little bit, they're like five bucks for a Blu-ray. Uh, Ten if they're still new. Four uh, Ks are like ten bucks. <clears throat> so couple movies here that I wanted to see, um, but I didn't want to buy, like, right away. You know, I had some interest in, but I wasn't wanting to pay full price for, so I, I figured he'd ha end up having them for five bucks eventually, and, uh, you know, for that price, you might as well go ahead and grab them. Of course, I never pre-open anything, because it's just the way I am. You guys know this. All right, come on. Uh, maybe I should have. Try not to mess them up because I think they both have slips. And they do. Alright, come on. So good good tape job there, buddy. <laughs> That's, they weren't going anywhere. Alright. So, yeah, five bucks a piece. I had to go ahead and grab them. I was going to get Antebellum as well, but... Uh, I didn't realize it was the 4K and it would have been 10, so I was like, yeah, I don't want to see it that bad. All right, this first one is horror. That is Spell. I haven't heard too much about this one. This is uh, Amari Hardwick and Loretta Devine. He said there's no digitals included with these. He takes out the digitals and sells the um, physicals, <clears throat> which is fine by me. I don't use the digitals anyways. I just give those to you guys. Speaking of which, I will be giving away the digital code to Freaky. And uh, get, do a little short review for you guys when I do when I do that um, sometime here this weekend. Uh, Slip's got a little bit of uh, who, who the fuck cares? It's fucking Dreamland, you know. Um, I don't really care if the slip's in great shape. 
Uh, it's got a little crease on the bottom, but whatever. Um, this is with Margot Robbie and Finn Cole. I don't know the name Finn Cole. Uh, looks like you... Oh, Peaky Bl uh, Blinders, which I hear is really good. I need to watch that. Uh, the trailer looked pretty decent on it. I, I'm kind of torn in between. Again, the reason I didn't want to pay full price for it. Um, I don't know, but I want to see it because it does have the beautiful Margot Robbie course from you know playing harley quinn and everything so yeah you know 10 bucks for both these you, you, you can't beat that you know for, for some pretty recent releases um so happy to have those where am i where am i gonna put what should i do with the but i don't really read so what should i do with the bookmarks i collect because i'll definitely be getting uh, more stuff from cavity colors at some point <clears throat> i think i have that one and a pumpkin head came with this one uh, let's go with the big package here from Amazon. Now, you guys know they're doing their buy two, get one, but it's on select items. A lot of stuff I wanted wasn't part of it. Uh, one of these is not for me, so I want to make sure I don't show that. Uh, so they shoved all three in one package here. Um, so awesome. Which is fun. Oh, no, this isn't, this isn't what I thought it was. Okay. There, there's more stuff in here than what I than what I thought. Oh, there's something on the floor. Oh, we have the heavy colors sticker. All right, so there's a few things in here that are not for me. So cool, cool. Okay. Um, yeah, I do have some gifts in here as well. So hopefully this is what I was just talking about. Okay, and those are in here too. So cool, cool. Oh wow. You got a slip with his too. Awesome. <laughs> I don't want to show that just in case said person is watching. All right. Um, I've heard kind of mixed things about this one too. Yes, I am in lounge pants because um, I'm lounging, right? Talking to you guys. <clears throat> uh, I've heard kind of mixed things about this too, but mostly positive. And uh, that is the rental. This is from IFC Screen Factory release. I'm not used to being so far away from the camera. Uh, slips in decent shape, actually, for being, you know, in a bag with a bunch of other shit. Uh, yeah, the rental. Um, we do have Dan Stevens, Jeremy Allen White. I don't know any of these names. I know the Dan Stevens name. That name sounds familiar. Anyways, um, another uh, Shout Factory title here, Shout Select. I know, I know the transfer on this is, isn't great from what I hear, but I don't own this movie at all, not even on DVD, so I wanted to have it. That is Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger in Twins. It's just, just a classic comedy, and I'm trying to trying to beef up my Shout Select um, collection uh, a little bit. So I don't think we're going to go in-depth in any of these guys. They usually I open them up and do all that. I don't think we're going to do that this video. Because it's already taking a while. We're already at 13 minutes, and uh, got more stuff. We got a got a package here from a Patreon supporter Michael Howard. Um, so thank you, first of all, for being a, a, a patron. Uh, really appreciate that. And uh, fantastic price on this. Uh, you guys know I'm trying to complete my Scream Factory double feature uh, collection because I like to. Uh, I like to try to get things when they're out of print because I want to pay more for them and not just get them when they come out. Like, they re-released, uh, they had another uh, release of the Death Stalker uh, double feature and I'm like, yeah, I don't know, that's 20 something dollars and now it's like crazy high. Um, so I'm like kicking myself for not getting that. But, uh, you know, awesome packaging job and this doesn't even have a slip on it and he still packed it very, very well. Thank you, buddy. Awesome. Put bubble wrap. Wow. And I, I guess I didn't realize this was brand new and still sealed. So, I mean, the price I got this for is phenomenal. There's no way I would have ever found it for that price. And that is Curse 1 and 2 double feature. I got this for damn near, like, retail. Um, yeah. Dude, you're fucking awesome. Thank you so much. Um... Well, not damn near retail, but <laughs> less than half the price of fucking eBay, I tell you that. Um, yeah, so, dude, you you rock, man. Um, I fucking appreciate it. 
thank you so much uh, for helping me add this to the collection. Uh, yeah, I never would have gotten that because I wasn't paying what they wanted on eBay. All right. Uh, I think I know what's in these boxes, but I'm not 100% sure. Both from Amazon. I believe they're kind of two of the same. I believe. I've been wrong before, though. Don't 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 let it fool you. See if I can struggle here for you guys. All right. We have Paramount presents Love Story. I know nothing about this. But it's got Ally McGraw and Ryan O'Neill. Two names I don't know. Uh, but you guys know I'm, I'm keeping up on the uh, Paramount Presents titles. Thanks to awesome, awesome supporter of the channel. Ch channel? <laughs> channel, Bill. Um, you're fucking awesome, man. And uh, I, I, I appreciate it so much. Uh, from 1970. Uh, yeah. Love story. Again, these fold out and all that shit, and it's just another image of basically the cover. Uh, but I'm keeping them sealed till I put them in uh, put bags over them because they do fold out. And it, you know. Anyways, and the other one, I don't even remember. I'm, I'm assuming this is probably the other one that came out, so I know I did not order this. If I if I was a if I was a betting man. It's definitely not something I ordered. Again, if you guys want to send me anything, the wish list is there. And, uh, you know, I mean, obviously, I have enough movies as it is, and I buy myself enough shit, so I don't ever expect anything from anyone. Um, make sure it is from the same person here. Because that would be awkward. <laughs> uh... This is an unknown Patreon supporter, so maybe maybe it's not. I don't know. Not, not sure. So maybe something completely different than what I. Wow, this is really wrapped. I mean, Amazon did a did a bang up job here. <laughs> okay, where where's the where's the fold? There we go. Okay. All right. Let's see how much noise you can make with that wrap. We do have another Paramount Presents title, a Cameron Crowe film. We have Elizabeth Town with um, What's Her Face and What's His Face. Yeah, Orlando Bloom. There you go. And Kirsten Dunst. I, I almost, see, I almost fucked that up because I almost said like Claire Danes or something. Kirsten Dunst, Orlando Bloom um, from, no, from 2005. So pretty recent release here. Most of these are uh, usually older films, but... Uh, I've not seen this one either, so and I do like uh, Orlando Bloom and Kirsten Dunst. You know, of course, from Spider-Man. I uh, wonder if she uh, does like an upside-down kiss with her Orlando Bloom in this. All right, I think that's it, guys. That's that's all. That's all we got. It's all she wrote. Uh, just to recap real quick, we had the awesome American Psycho T-shirt from Cavity Colors. Very, very cool. I can't wait to watch this because it's wrinkled as fuck and uh, wear this damn thing. Uh, and we'll be supporting that in a future video. And then we had The Call. Freaky. Spell. Dreamland. I'm actually surprised they came in that good of shape with it being in the bubble mill, to be honest with you. Um, so good job, uh, guy. I don't, I don't want to say your name, just in case you don't want people to know. Uh, the rental, twins, curse, double feature. Very, very excited for that. And I did pick up another double feature from him just today for a really good price as well. Uh, love story from Paramount Presents, and the Paramount Presents of Elizabeth Town. It's all one word. I don't know why I'm separating it. So, cool, cool. Really, really nice haul. Some great additions to the collection. Bam! Is that the thumbnail? 
Fuck, I don't know. Probably not because I don't like to spoil what's inside. Because if you guys see what's inside on the thumbnail, why click the video? Right? So there's going to be something else on the thumbnail. Which you're already going to know that because you're going to see that before you even watch the video. What the fuck am I saying? All right. Uh, again, really, really awesome haul. I'm happy with it. I'm good with it. Right. Uh, I think that's it, guys. Again, like, subscribe, uh, hit the bell, all that good shit. If you guys stayed the whole video, I'm going to try to do this every video. If you guys stayed the whole video, drop a comment just saying the word peanut. Peanut. I, I don't know. I just thought it'd be something fun to do. Um, so if you guys made it to the end, you know what to do. And you guys are awesome. So as always, guys, peace, love, happiness to all of you. I will catch you all next time. Bye.